hey guys welcome back to my channel i did two strand twists in my honey's hair with some easy breezy part in techniques keep on watching if you want to see how i did it so this time around guys doing this hairstyle i had in mind that i was going to do this the most simplified way as possible as far as parting out the sections of hair to do the two strand twists so what you'll see me doing throughout this hairstyle is taking it one section literally at a time section by section at a time so right here you see that i just parted out one box and i went ahead and twisted that up instead of parting out one long row and then starting to section off and do the individual twist so right here i started parting where i left off um using some shining jam to you know smooth out and make the parts very neat then I sectioned off another box and then I'm going to work on that. So at the beginning of the twist, what I'm doing is starting off with a, a plait. So you see me plaiting and I'm probably plaiting maybe about four or five times. And then I make the hair into two strands and just twist it on down. I like to start off at the roots with a plait because it definitely secures it and it also helps give it a little length as well because these twists will shrivel up a little bit and we still want to give you know have some length and i also do use clips to help stretch out the twist so that when they settle and dry because i did use some curling cream which i will show you guys once they dry you know it will have some some stretch to it or some length i should say to the twist Right, so y'all saw me just do the first row so i'm going to start on the second row but i am again not parting all the way through to section out entire row i'm still going box by box so here i just part off enough space a nice neat um part part off enough space so that i can start to do my individual boxes with parting so you see me sectioning off the hair and i'm going to go ahead and clip the rest of the hair away and i'm just going to start twisting this area that i have here and if you don't notice already these parts are still nice and neat and you cannot tell that i haven't sectioned off the entire row i'm doing this individually box by box and to be honest with you guys it's a time saver it's way faster doing it this way you still get super duper neat parts so i recommend this technique even when you're doing box braids it works the same way So I know you guys have probably seen another technique of how to start off a two strand twist or the same way people do like Senegalese twists and things like that. You can actually start off at the roots by twisting the hair. But that is a more difficult technique to do and a more easier time consuming way also, especially if like a beginner way, I should say, is just by starting at the roots with doing a box braid. So again, that's the technique I'm doing with this hairstyle, starting off by braiding at the roots, maybe go down maybe four times and then you split the hair instead of three pieces, you split it to make it two pieces and then you just twist the rest of the hair all the way down 
it still will be secure and the twist will not come loose it will still come out nice and juicy looking especially if you're using the curl cream so if you guys are thinking about using this technique please let me know in the comments if you already do it this way go ahead and shout yourself out in the comment section and let me know hey girl i already do this i'm on to it <laughs> So I just want to show you the type of twisting cream that I'm using. It's Cream of Nature's Pure Honey Twisting Cream. It moisturizes the hair. I use this all the time when I'm doing twists and I absolutely love this. He has dry hair and this moisturizes his hair so well. It helps the twist come out nice and juicy looking. And when I say juicy, I mean nice and moisturized. That's what I mean by that. So I definitely, if you're looking for twisting cream, didn't know you should use twisting cream when doing twists. This is one you can get. And I'll also link this one that I used down below in the description box for you guys. And if you made it this far into the video, I thank you guys for watching. I do ask that you subscribe if this is your first time here. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really do try to post really good information for you guys. Tips and techniques that's very helpful for when you're doing hair. And if you are a returning watcher, I definitely appreciate you even more for coming back. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and coming through. I would definitely appreciate if you guys like the video and leave a comment so we can chat. And you guys are very welcome to leave your opinions and suggestions and comments for me. I definitely like hearing feedback from you guys.
All right, so we're at the front of his head. So at the edge, I am kind of doing one row because um, it's not a long area. So it was easy. It was fine for me to do it this way. Didn't take up no extra time to do that. So with that being said, I the idea for this video is I didn't want to cut out a lot of pieces and speed up all the parts. I really wanted to give you guys a really good glimpse and look into how I really was doing this easy box by box parting um because it really is a simple way to part i know people out there do have issues with parting i have people i talk to all the time that says that so this is a very simple way to part but still have super duper neat parts that's the whole purpose of this video one of the main points besides you know showing you how to do some really nice juicy twists even with shorter hair also highly recommend getting a precision comb so this is the type of comb that you see me using here so at the very top of the comb it has that little extra like space area to really give you a, 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 a kind of a, a point in the beginning of the comb this absolutely 100 percent helps you get a straight part in my opinion, if you're using this type of comb, it's going to be very hard to not get a straight part, to not do a straight part. So definitely a tip. This is kind of known now. I see everyone use these type of combs, but then some people don't. So I just definitely want to mention that. And I'll link some down below. You can get it from your local beauty supply store. I know Amazon have them. Um, I got mine off Amazon. It came with like a three pack and also it came with a magnet wristband that you can use to put your gel, your jams, your grease on it so that you don't have to put them on the back of your hand. So to manage the parting of the front of his head, I'm putting a part down the middle of his head. He likes to have a wear part in the middle of his head. So before I even get any further up on his, you know, top of his head, I'm going to make that middle part section off the rest of the hair that I have to do just to make sure that it's going to be even on both sides. Now, it was easier for me in the front of his head to do actual row parting versus just on a box by box parting. So because it was less of a less of a section that I had to finish off completing I just did row by row especially since I already parted off and sectioned off the rest of the top of his head so um, if you want to continue at this point to do the box by box parting you can but doing the row parting at this point it's, it's the same 
like process basically same time process um at this point it helps you have an evened out more section of parting on both sides of the head especially because we're going for that even middle part so i just wanted to tap in and give an update on why all of a sudden i've started to do the row party versus the box by box party that i've been raving about this entire video <laughs> Okay, 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 y'all see it. They looking nice and neat and luscious. Just wait to the end, y'all. We almost done. I'm gonna put my finishing touches and uh, it just comes out superb. So I just got that little section left to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up so we can get to the end.
right, all right, all right. We on this last one. If you have made it to this point in the video, then you have witnessed how simple this process was to complete this hairstyle. I thank you guys for tuning in. So now that we are all done with the twisting, we're going to lather these twists up with some foamy mousse, wrapping mousse, whatever kind you have is fine, it'll work. The mousse is going to settle the hair, any flyaways, which she doesn't have, but it's going to really give it a nice moisture and just settle the hair. So once you get that put all over the hair, um, I use a do-rag. And if you don't have a do-rag, you can use a stocking cap as well, but just cover the entire head. And then if you have a hair dryer, go ahead and have them sit under the hair dryer until all the mousse is completely dry. But if you're like me and don't have one handy, I just use my handy dandy blow dryer. And we sit there and we just blow dry this hair. It takes no more than maybe seven minutes. Depends on if the person can take the heat, you know, <laughs> but it doesn't take that long. It also depends on how much mousse you put on the hair. But once it gets all nice and dry, you just remove that do-rag. And then you get to see all your effort and the effortless hairstyle that you created. It's like a voila moment. <laughs> I spray that good old oil sheen on the hair. And look at this. Look at this. I'm super proud of myself. I'm going to toot my own horn. I love this, you guys. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and like the video. I will see you guys in the next video. Be blessed.